Let's now analyze what happens to the dynamic of the consumption. So how the consumptions change with time, still in the context of the optimal sol solution that maximizes the welfare. We see here, uh, we take back to uh, our results that the price, uh, the shadow price of capital must be equal to the marginal consumption. When we take the uh, derivative of both sides with respect to time, we obtain through the chain rules the equation that you see here. And uh, when we consider also that the variation uh, of uh, the shadow price is given by the, uh, the equation, uh, uh, the, the adjoint equations that we, uh, that the, uh, the optimal control theory give us. Well, this two side must be equal. So we, this is here. And then again, we can reuse this fact that should substitute omega for marginal capital here. And we can finally rewrite uh, the equations that give us the grow rate of consumptions. Now, if you remember the assumptions we made uh, about uh, uh, utility in functions as a function of consumptions, here was consumption and here is utility. What we said is that the utility with as a function of consumptions increase, but uh, it is concave with a concave pattern. That is that the first derivative, the marginal utility is positive, but this one, the second derivative is negative and the consumption is positive. So all of these is uh, negative so that we can rewrite this, uh, these terms in this way, where uh, eta is the elasticity of the marginal utility with respect to consumptions, and uh, when we rewrote this one, so this one is positive, and uh, we can hence relate the um, direction of, uh, of the grow with uh, the relative magnitude of uh, the marginal uh, um, productivity of capital and the uh, social discount rate. We can interpret the social discount rate as a form of uh, impatience for, uh, for the future, and in this case for future consumptions. That is, if uh, uh, I am indifferent between consuming uh, uh, 10 today and uh, 20 next year, if the social uh, uh, discount rate increase, it means that I'm no longer uh, enough with a 20 next year. I want more to be, to be deemed equivalent to, to 10 today. I want 20, 30, whatever. So how we increase the social discount rate more, we signal our uh, impatience uh, for, uh, for, the, for the future and our preference for today. The marginal product of capital, instead, it is the payoff to uh, consumption that is delayed. Instead of being consumed now, we set the production to the stock of capital. And what we will get? We will get uh, at the margin exactly this one, the marginal product of capital. Uh, higher level of production uh, tomorrow. So analytically, when the marginal product is higher than the social discount rate, we see that the growth rate of consumptions will also increase. And uh, this is because uh, the um, consumptions is increasing when the payoff is greater than impatience patients because I have more incentive to store uh, capital and hence next year I can produce more because my marginal product of capital is higher compared with uh, uh, my, uh, my impatience, uh, my preferences for, uh, for, for today. Conversely, 
when my preferences for today are higher than what I can get if instead I renounce to uh, consume today and wait for a higher uh, possibility to produce tomorrow, my level, my growth rate of uh, consumptions decrease. And when the two are uh, exactly the same, let's remain uh, uh, stable. So this in some sort makes sense because when the payoff is uh, this one is greater than impatience, the economy will accumulate capital. I'm more uh, storing uh, capital than consuming and hence it will go and the opposite is true for the, for the, for the other case. One final uh, consideration before moving to the true extension of the model is that, as I said, knowing the hoteling rules, so knowing how, which is the grow rate of price, is not enough to give us a, a complete set of, uh, of uh, conditions. Uh, there are infinite uh, uh, price paths that follow the hoteling rule that grow at a, a given uh, grow rate. It is the, this fact of growing uh, uh, following the hoteling rule plus the initial conditions that give us the unique uh, um, uh, solution for a uh, 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 level of uh, uh, price and uh, consumptions uh, that uh, follow the maximization of uh, for which the welfare is uh, maximized and uh, again in today we uh, studied this in uh, uh, generic so using generic forms uh, the next lesson we will uh, see how using a specific functional forms, we can arrive really at the fine which is the exact path that should follow uh, our control uh, variable and our state variables for the maximization of the welfare.